So we got a question about how to incorporate singles in the off season. We include singles a lot of times in the training that we write. Mostly you see it during development blocks if a lifter is heading toward a competition. But if you're further away from competition or maybe you have no competition plans, you're planning more of an off season, how would you incorporate singles? The way that we use singles normally is as a benchmarking set. So as the lifter is working up, they work all the way up to a single, let's say an eight RPE, and then they can do whatever as back offsets, whatever you decide is appropriate. If you're in more of an off season setting, you can still do that. And how would you do that? I mean, pretty much the same way that you would do it in any other kind of uh, training block. You would work up to a top single and then do some back off work. The difference is in an off season, you're going to have a different kind of back off work. You may be selecting different exercises or something along those lines. It's not quite as critical that you do it in the competitive lift. And I suppose to go a bit further, I don't know that I would include it in off season blocks by default. Uh, if I'm planning something that's more of an off season, to me that means I'm not as focused single mindedly on progressing uh, toward you know a higher total in powerlifting. So doing something other than singles, that's a great time for including other things. It's a great time to get away from that same stimulus that you've got over and over. Wait a minute. So we're gonna do some training and we're gonna keep doing it until it stops working and then we'll transition and do something else. Yeah, that's basically it. It's not a training system as much as it's a, an epistemological system. It's a way of interacting with the world and, and understanding how things work. I was always interested in tinkering with my training. I'm not sure that I would have wanted a coach to tell me what to do exactly. I like tinkering, and even now I like the tinkering process of it. And I thought, what am I doing to help those people? It can give you a process for coming up with the best creative solutions for an individual lifter. And program for yourself and, and pay attention to your own training. I think it's a great way to understand a lot of that stuff and hopefully get to where you can build it yourself and speed up that whole learning process. <laughs>